So we've got social workers that are, we've got uh, five social workers that are managed by or supervised by the Department of Social Development in, with our assistants. So once they are done there, they will identify who is frail, who have, where are illegal tenants, what um, maintenance works need to be done. All of those things will be uh, given in, in one report. And then once they have, they've given us that report, we'll determine what uh, cost it's going to take. And then in terms of the maintenance, the other thing that the most important thing that the social workers are doing there is that the, if there are any frail uh, tenants there, there's a form that you fill uh, that is from the Provincial Department of Social Development. So do residents know about this? The what? Do they know about this? What you're telling me now? Do they know about it? Who? Yeah. The residents. The, yeah, residents, the residents were yeah, informed they before the years. So before the, the social uh, workers go there, we have a meeting with the residents. Mm. At the moment, we haven't been to uh, Ruben because we've started at uh, Donovan McDonald as well as Defense Hall. So as soon as we just before we go to Ruben, a week before we go to Ruben, we will go and inform the residents that uh, we're going to be coming and this is what we're going to be doing. Mm -hmm. So we're also going to be doing security assessments through the MPD. Um, so yes, those three, the, the Department of Social Development is assisting us with that. With the the actual, uh, if somebody needs to be moved, they follow a certain process. We need to apply to them, then they follow that process to move that person to a frail care facility. So, yeah, that's the process we are currently undertaking.